What's up, nerds, and welcome to another Noisy News Week for the week of March 13th, 2021. Here's where I fill you in on some notable news posted to NoisyPixel.net this past week. Before I get into the news, I'd just like to say that I'm not really playing anything this week. Let me know what you're playing. The things that I am playing, I don't think I can talk about, which is the problem, I guess. Anyway, let me know and we'll talk about it in the comments. So, on to the news. Developer and publisher Square Enix announced that they will host a live event on March 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It seems like this is mostly directed towards the American side because you have a Life is Strange announcement. Just Cause Mobile will be announced. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't want to know, but Balin Wonderworld will be on there. But I guess they're just going to be talking about some of their games. We'll see some trailers. We'll also get some Outriders news, which I hear didn't do too well on its preview little demo event. I have not played. I am very behind on a lot of stuff. I'm sorry. Capcom made a few announcements. They will release the Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin on Nintendo Switch and PC on July 9th. We got a nice little trailer showing all the, the dinosaurs and monsters you can run around with. For me, I haven't really played the series. A little bit of World, but I played it on PSP and then the nerds took over with a 3DS and I, and I saw these people like 250 hours and just like, you know, I stepped back. Remember when Final Fantasy Explorers came out and then that was just kind of Monster Hunter for Final Fantasy? Yeah, I thought I was going to get into that and two hours later I, I put it down and I, I never returned to it. They also released some new gameplay for Monster Hunter Rise, so there's trailers of that on the website. MiHoYo announced that their RPG Genshin Impact will release its version 1.4 update on March 17th. PlayStation 4, iOS, PC and Android, you got it all. This will bring in new characters, a new area, and we will definitely have coverage of this on the site. So we got a Genshin guy now. There you go. That's all we really need. Get that SEO, get those numbers up, all those Genshin normies. <laughs> That's what I call them. Where, where are these 500,000 people come from that just play Genshin Impact all the time? I don't understand. Every trailer that that YouTube channel posts for Genshin Impact, in like five minutes, 100,000 views, 200,000 views. Who are all these people that are just playing Genshin Impact 24-7? I mean, the game is good, but there is definitely other games out there that should be getting that notoriety, like Gnosia, I believe. That's one of the games. In terms of online games, I can't help you. I'm very bad at that. Moving on, Side Games announced that Eustace will be the newest character added to Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. And this guy's a gun user, so that's going to be interesting to see how he kind of incorporates with the other characters in the roster. But that's another character in the season two, I believe we're still on. Bandai Namco finally released new gameplay for Tales of a Rise, and we get to hear some English audio, see some gameplay. It's mostly gameplay from the screenshots that we've seen before, but I'm just glad to see anything from this game right now. It looks great. I'm very excited about this game. I really need a new Tales game right now just to cleanse the palate, you know, get get all these get all these overly realistic games out of the way or these Neptunia games. Get them, get them away. Just give me just give me a Tales game. You know, that's all I want. Or Nino Kuni. PM Studios released gameplay for the puzzle platformer Hoa coming out on Nintendo Switch and PC in May 2021. This is probably the first gameplay that we get to see of this and we see the first stage and the developer actually narrates. So this game looks beautiful and I suggest you go check it out. Limited and Run Games announced that they will be teaming up with Degaga to release a physical release of Hero Must Die Again on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Creator is available now. There is a limited edition with like an art book and a poster and stuff. And this game is very cool. Uh, we have a review on the site, but you do have to go in knowing that the replayability is like you only have like five days to live and everything you do takes time. But there's things that you can do to add more time. But trust me, just just understand it. Get get to know it a little bit. Get the feel of it. Don't look at any guides. Just go go have an adventure. You know, remember when we didn't go on Game Facts? Right when we got stuck for five minutes, go go on an adventure. Get out of the house. Plays them announced that 
the 2D action game Record of Lotus War, Deedlit in Wonder Labyrinth, will officially release on PC via Steam on March 27th, 2021. The game has been in early access. I believe that Stage 5 and 6 are going to be released with the final game, but I think you can go up to Stage 4 right now. This game is modeled after a Castlevania adventure, but there's more like skill-based puzzles in it where you can like aim your arrow and navigate it through stuff and get secret weapons. It's really cool. We'll, we'll definitely have a review on the site. I don't know if I'll be doing it, but we'll see what happens. Dadimu announced that they will publish the Tribute Games developed beat em up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. And that's coming to PC and consoles. This game looks like right out of the Super Nintendo Tribute Games. They're doing it right. They got that Panzer Paladin blew it out of the water. Excellent game. Very excited to see what comes next from this team and Dadimu, I mean Streets of Rage 4, too good. Almost too good. PM Studios made another announcement that they will publish Bladed Fury on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on March 25th. The game will also have a physical release on PS4 and Nintendo Switch for those who want it. Private Division announced that the Outer Worlds will launch its second and final expansion pass, Outer Worlds Murders of Erodinus. Erodinus. Murder on Erodinus. That's coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC on March 17th. No Switch release date, but I mean, if you played that Switch version, I think you know why. The game's great. I hope to see maybe something on PS5, Xbox Series X, because it's a really pretty game on PC, if that's where you've been playing it. I just love Private Division, to be honest. They're publishing some, some good games. And Obsidian, pfft, don't even need to say anything. Don't even need to really say anything. Some sad news today, the physical release of Saga Frontier Remastered on PlayStation 4 has been canceled. The Switch version is still available on PlayAsia, but no more PS4, so sorry about that. You would have to get it on Switch if you want a physical release. That's okay. I pre-ordered the Switch release anyway, so I didn't even want the PS4 version. And that's only because Romancing Saga 3 got a physical release on Switch, and I just, I couldn't have just... Saga Frontier Remastered alone in PS4. I had to have like all those Saga games. But I digress. On to visual novel news. Sakai Project announced that the palette developed 99 Episode 4 will launch on PC via Steam on March 19th. There you go. Another episode. These girls are cute. The game is cool. I just hope that some of my questions are answered. That's all I want. That's all I really want. Is that too much to ask? The publisher also announced that Canvas and Garden developed Love Sweet Garnish 2 will support English text on Steam on March 15th, 2021. The game has been available in Japanese and Chinese on Steam, but now they're putting an English patch towards there so we can get a little taste. Love Sweet Garnish 2. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Nekonyan announced a free trial edition demo of Saga Planet's romance visual novel, King Koi. Golden Love Rich. The demo is available now on Steam, and there's a full release plan for May 2021. But go play the demo. Why not? Get to know your waifu a little bit. Manga Gamer announced that they will publish the Overdrive developed musical visual novel Musicus on PC via Manga Gamer and Steam on April 8th. This game also has adult elements, and I don't think they're going to have an all ages version on Steam. I think it's just an 18 plus version, but there's some cool rock music. That's all I really want. The official Science Adventure Twitter shared an image of like test tube, like amp tubes. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, they had the numbers 210317, which led us to believe that announcement for the Science Adventure series, specifically Stein's Gate, will be coming on March 17th, 2021. We'll keep a lookout and we'll definitely let you know if anything happens. Manga Gamer announced that they will localize the Neko Day developed visual novel Christmas Tina ephemeral views of winter on PC coming west. I think this is an all ages visual novel and it's like a little romance and working hard or hardly working as they say. Previews on the site, we got Lust from Beyond, Ravita, Muv Love Unlimited, The Day After Zero Three, and Tokoyo, The Tower of Perpetuity. Reviews on the site, we have Gnosia. I know everyone's saying oh, it's not pronounced Nosha? Is it Nosha? No, fool. Gnosia. And I said Gnosha in my review, but that's because I'm Gaijin, dude. I'm just a little Gaijin 
freaking boy here trying to pronounce these uh foreign words. Can't can't hurt a brother for trying. Also, laid back camp virtual lake Matsus Motosu Motosu Everhood Monster Energy Supercrass 4 Sea of Solitude the Director's Cut and Legal Dungeon on Nintendo Switch. Go play it. That game looks cool. Anyway, that's it. That's the news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and I will see you soon.